This is Rap Son, worshiping the Most High God of Israel alone and carrying on the legacy and teachings of my dear father and our dear messenger, Rap the News. Shalom, my family. The Day of Atonement is very important, and if the Most High is willing, we'll be observing it on February 10th, starting in the evening and ending in the evening of February 11th. The Feast of Trumpets and the days of repentance, they prepare us for the Day of Atonement. So you you can't miss the Feast of Trumpets and the days of repentance because they're getting you ready for the Day of Atonement. And the Feast of Trumpets again is on February 1st, evening to February 2nd, evening. So Leviticus 16, 29 through 30. This shall be a statue forever for you. Forever means forever. So that means even in the land of our captivity, as what we are in now, in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls. This means that all of us Israel needs to fast and do no work at all. Again, it's just like the Sabbath, no work is to be done on this day it is a day of rest whether a native of your own country or a stranger who dwells among among you so any gentiles that are among us the most high commands that you are to observe it right along with us if you are unwilling you shouldn't be among us for on that day the priest shall make atonement for you it has to be a priest and if the most high is willing I will make an atonement for all of Israel but we're gonna go into that in another video if the most high is willing to cleanse you so that you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord so the atonement that's being made is so that you my family can be cleansed from all your sins but you can't be cleansed if you're still planning to do sin of a set purpose and you can find that in Ezekiel 45 number 20 and you need to reflect repent and prepare yourselves starting from the Feast of Trumpets and make sure that you take it seriously so again it is very possible that we will be back in our land before or on the Day of Atonement it is a rest day and according to Ezekiel 38 and 11 we will be at rest when we're back in Israel. Again, I'm not setting a date, nor am I saying it's going to happen for certain. Only the Most High knows that. Ezekiel 38 and 11, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are in rest, which is us, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. The Day of Atonement is considered to be the most important day of a Hebrew's life. As it was stated in Leviticus 29 verse 30, it is a day for you to be cleansed of all your sins. So it could be a determining factor whether you go to heaven or you go to hell. And you know, maybe you won't have to spend that much time in the refiner's melting pot of the Most High. So the Day of Atonement is considered to be the most important day of a Hebrew's life. Marking the 10 days of all. In those 10 days, you are to reflect on all your sins, feel true remorse for them, and repent to the Most High. Again, you cannot repent or feel true remorse if you plan to or are still doing sin of a set purpose. And you are also to go to whomever you can think of that you may have wronged and make amends with them. A period of introspection and repentance. Supposedly, it is on the Day of Atonement that the Most High decides each person's fate. So Hebrews are to seriously make amends and ask for forgiveness for all the sins they have do ever done by engaging in a fast followed by a special religious service. So we're going to end up with Leviticus 23 verse 27 through 31. Also on the 10th day of the 7th month there shall be a Day of Atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. 
And you shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, meaning you're not fasting in that day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep the commands of the Most High and observe these days and do what is needed on these days. So I have created a calendar for people who's wondering exactly when the dates are or confused when the dates are. If the Most High is willing, I'll place a link to download it in the description box below as well as the comment section. This is Rap Sun.